Oh, we're out here now, and the uh, sleigh is just full of slush. full of slush. So let's uh, get set up, and we'll see how the fishing is. Good morning, everyone. Today is January the twelfth. We're out doing some lake trout fishing. A little cold right now. It's about minus twenty. It's overcast, and we have some light snow. Um, any fish yet? Uh, nothing yet. Nothing yet, eh? We uh, we came out here this morning, and we were, we came out when it was still dark, and we heard reports that the lake was slushy, and uh, we thought we'd come take a look. So, as you can tell from looking at the sleigh, we have uh, a lot of slush that uh, kind of filled in everything. Bag of uh, change of clothes and everything else, and that's frozen up too. So, we'll see if we can get a video on the way out. Anyway, we're uh, probably about 50 feet from shore here. We're in 56 feet of water right now. We're just jigging. Uh, we're allowed two holes per person, but we're only have one right now. So, what we're doing is we're just gonna going along the shore here and just uh, seeing where we can find a fish. Doesn't look like anybody else has been out, so you can tell that uh, a lot of the a lot of the lake is uh, wind blowing, but around the shores are quite slushy. So this lake is probably about 140 feet deep. It freezes late, so this crust that's on top here, you drill through that and uh, there's about an inch of ice then you have about an inch and a half of water and you have about eight inches of ice but neither sure where we came on we had probably a good foot of slush and probably about a foot and a half of snow so we ended up getting stuck on the way out but we'll keep fishing time for lure change it's for lake trout we uh, usually don't bring a lot of tackle that's their only box that we bring we're gonna try a little white jigging wrap. A little Rapala one? Yep. So with these ones too, that front hook, we take that front hook and we cut that off and we seem to get a lot better fish. Uh, what? Otherwise it gets stuck on the ice. Yeah, it doesn't get stuck on the ice. Okay, you have five minutes to catch a fish. Okay. At yeah, that time of year, we've got ice everywhere. Gotta clean it out of the uh, clean it out of the sleigh and everything else before we kind of get going. Everything's frozen up. My boots. And uh, I cleaned out underneath the sleigh here, but you'll see there's a bit of ice. Gonna watch you don't break the wheels here. Make sure it's all not frozen up. I got another one. Whew. Wowzers! That is a wiener. It's gonna hold the line up. Just you don't, uh, you got it? Just watch those hooks. Does that uh, count as lake trout, that one? <laughs> Certainly goes to show you that uh, with those jigging wraps and that, you can actually get the fish to bite. I mean, that. That uh, lake trout is. Get a picture of them. Me that. that lake trout's probably not even a foot long. There he goes. He's going. There he goes. That's nice to see. I mean, you can certainly finesse them into biting, but it's nice to see those little ones like that. I mean, Goes to show you that the fish are reproducing in here.
you hooked on here. It's funny, we uh, we watched that guy come up a couple times. I'm going to pull this in. Yeah. It doesn't oh. feel too bad. It's definitely bigger than a, a speck. Uh, I might need the pliers. I don't have more. You gotta watch it. You can see how the lines wrap right around its uh, around its head. You gotta watch, it, especially when it's cold like this, and they're uh, pretty pretty slimy. And uh, you don't want to have your hand slip and get that treble hook. I'll get that guy back. We'll try to put it back. Just watch out. Should be okay. There he goes. Nice. It's a nice one. So that uh, we're fishing in. I don't know, it's transducers, like, what are your, 60, 60 feet of water? 30 feet of water. And that kind of came up from the bottom, you're about 10 feet off, and just, uh, what are you using? Uh, just a jigging spoon? A uh, one ounce Swedish pickle. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's try to get another one. That came off. Oh well, you can get them again. Oh. Have these nice uh, fresh baked chocolate chip muffins and uh, they're frozen solid right now, so. Oh, I've got another one here. Apparently the young guy is showing up his dad. How's that one? That looks a lot bigger. We've got probably a half a dozen that are uh, small. Oh. Whew. It's cool out today. Right. Take your time with that guy. Remember, he's going to start rolling, eh? Yeah. That looks like it's a little heavier, eh? Oh, yeah. Uh, pulling the drag pretty good, eh? Uh, the sun's just starting to kind of come out. It's probably probably around minus 20 or so, but it uh, certainly feels cooler right now. And anything that gets wet freezes instantly here. You have a leader on there here. Yeah, that's what I put a leader. So you can still see braid or is that leader? That's braid.
big of a fish? I just wonder if I should uh, think about the old pole pack. Put your other mitts on if you want. We had a good, uh, a good day. We've been on here for about six hours. The uh, Hummingbird Ice 35 lasted, no problem. But the lead acid battery and the Helix 5 died after about five hours, so. We lost a fairly big one. I think we're confident about that. Um, caught a couple, so we had fun. So it's kind of deceiving right now. Nice and sunny. It looks beautiful right now, but it is friggin' cold, and we got everything we have is covered in ice right now, so we'll definitely have to clean everything off. Gonna pack everything up, and we got probably about a 15 minute run back to the uh, truck. We gotta go through all our slush on the way back again. stubborn and I should have just hand bombed it in but uh, we, we tried to try to break the ice out of the rod tip there and uh, we ended up losing the fish yeah uh, learn from our mistakes I guess so I think we, we did not too bad there today I mean we we lost maybe three or four other ones which is probably par for for fishing in the winter time it's pretty tough uh, lake trout fishing anyway we'll uh, head home we gotta thaw out the machine and the sleigh I think we have probably 50 pounds of ice in the, in the sleigh on the way back. And, uh, see ya. It's gonna be a cold night tonight. Almost froze today, so I have the sauna going. Oh, the sound is warm. A lot nicer than it was this afternoon. I'll see you in the next video.